why did I buy a Samsung S10 Plus in 2020 when there's way better phones out there? Why? And I'm gonna compare it to the S9 Plus. My workhorse phone owned it for two and a half years until finally the screen cracked. But I wanted the headphone jack, the illustrious headphone jack. Where did you go? And what phone options do you have? Grabbing a headphone jack. So over here on the right, we have my brand new Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. On the left over here, we have my S9 Plus. You might notice they're very similar. This is, the new one is slightly lighter, slightly smaller, but the big difference being the end-to-end -end screen. You can see, I can zoom in here, and you can see there's just a lot larger bezel on the left and the right. That being said, they're both AM OLED screens, and they both, uh, have the QHD resolution, thus making them one of the higher resolution flagship phones out there. This one does have a little crack in it and that's why I recently upgraded to this. This one also has a notch in it. Speaking of the notch, let's get straight into front facing cameras. Two camera lenses as opposed to one on the S9, thus giving you more options for close and far images and more if you're into selfies and things like that. Uh, also video calling, this one could be a better option for you. As far as speaker placement, you can see they still have the speaker over here, and it is stereo speaker, so even if you're covering up one speaker, you still hear it fairly well. Now let me just jump into one of the cons that I've seen, that the edge screen on this phone right here, the S10, when I'm holding it like this, and I'm watching YouTube videos, see how I'm rewinding? I didn't want to rewind there at all. It's just, it, it felt this left hand holding it and registered it as uh, rewind. For those of you who don't know, you can fast forward and rewind by double tapping in your YouTube app. So sometimes I wanna fast forward a video. And if I have one hand on the left there, see how it's just barely on the screen, I'm unable to fast forward. So that's actually one of the biggest downsides I've seen so far. But I also don't have a case on this yet. So stay tuned for that. I have a feeling once you have a case on this phone, that's going to happen a lot less. This phone has always had a case for me, so that's probably why I never felt it on the S9. I imagine the edge on this is also somewhat finicky. You'll notice that the cameras went from vertical, you can see there you got two, two lenses and then the fingerprint reader, and you got flash over here. You'll notice on this one, no fingerprint reader. They've upgraded to three cameras. This one only supports HDR camera shooting. This one sports HDR plus camera shooting and has an extra lens. Additionally, they removed the fingerprint reader to write on the screen right here. When I was looking to upgrade my phones, the biggest contender for me was the LG V60. But as you can see here, this is actually almost the size of it. It's a much larger phone. I think this one is actually 6.8 inches. It's like almost a whole half inch larger and it's bulkier, it's heavier, um, and it's an LG. And let me talk about that for, for a moment. First of all, there's nothing wrong with this phone. I was actually kind of excited to check it out. But this is why I didn't go with it. Number one is that the Samsung has a nicer screen. This is only a 1080p screen, although it's OLED and LG has some really great OLED technology. I already loved my Samsung Galaxy S9, so I knew that the screen, I would still like it. So I was taking a little bit of gamble on the LG. The LG is also 5G and these ones aren't. So I really started gravitating towards the LG. However, look at this, this screen broke, even with the case on it. If I got an even larger phone, and I'm a very active person running around, uh, running around to catch my two-year-old son, I can't have something huge in my pocket that can have the potential to bend or break. So even though this difference might be very slight, it's pretty significant when it comes to the actual form factor. Additionally, LG does not roll out nearly as many updates as Samsung does. Now, obviously the Google Pixel would have been the best as far as software. I feel like the Samsung is a good medium where the LG might be lacking in that department a little bit. One that when I finally got the phone that I'm really happy about is how easy it is. The Bixby button is in the same place. The power button, all the hotkeys are all the same. So it's just super familiar for me. Another thing that uh, Samsung does is they have something called Smart Switch. And I imagine this is fine with any phone, but what I was able to do is if you, if you get into the Smart Switch app here and on my S9, you simply tell it what you want to transfer. It, it transferred everything, my wallpapers, my apps, 
apps, my home screen, my messages within my text messaging program, my emails, all my email accounts, because I have multiple email accounts. Um, it just did everything. Now, was it perfect? No, it was about 90% there. Like for example, my podcasting app, I had to re-download a lot of my podcasts. A couple of the, um, it never reinstalled Microsoft Word, which is actually okay because I'm moving to Google Docs now as far as my default Word uh, uh, processing. As far as touchscreen and performance, it is so similar. So if you're on a budget, I would still highly recommend the S9 Plus. I own this thing for over two years and it was a workhorse for me. It's still a great phone. The only reason I upgrade is, you know, I can afford it, one, and two, I just want to make, it allows me to make this video, and three, I kind of wanted to give myself a little extra gift, adding those additional features. I do do a lot of video recording, I do do a lot of photos of my son, so I felt like the extra res resolution, and the extra features, the HDR10+, plus, those things were pretty cool, considering I got this phone for $400 refurbished in excellent condition. This was a 2019 release. We now have the Samsung S20. But what makes these phones iconic and going to, you know, test time is the fact that they both have headphone jacks. That's right. Now, I know I can get a dongle. And I know there's Bluetooth speakers and things. But if you caught my other videos, all of my cars only have auxiliary. They don't have USB in. They don't have type C. They don't have wireless charging. So for those reasons, it's still really nice to have an auxiliary jack. Other thing being, I have plenty of headphones that still work that also are, have a, use an auxiliary headphone jack. So while it would be nice to get the latest and greatest S20 with the 5G and everything else, I really think for today, budget pick. It's beautiful screen, a bigger battery, extra uh, photo features, really make it a nice little upgrade. But if you're on a budget, Go for the S9 Plus, it's still a plenty good phone, plenty good uh, everything. This one has two more gigs of RAM, a slightly faster processor, but I, I didn't talk about that in this video because it's so minute detail. One thing that actually is kind of cool is that this one came default with 64 gigs of, of, of data space. This one comes stock with 128, and then I add a little 64 gigabyte SD card. This one had 64, I added 64 more. It was plenty, I just dump it about once a year and it's plenty of space for me. But you can put 128, 256, 400, 512. You can expand it all you want. So my final thoughts, on so far I'm really digging the S10 Plus. The fact that it might be between the LG and this, and I know TCL and the Pixel 4a, those are really your last phones that are gonna have a headphone jack. I, I'm fine with my next phone being one without a headphone jack. But based on what I'm using here, I also expect this phone to last me the next two years with no problem. So for two years, maybe I'll get a new car. Maybe things will change. But I'm really glad I went with this because I saved a ton of money, $400 compared to, you know, uh, the you know, S20 would cost me way more. And it's still a plenty capable phone. With all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.